Hi, what is up my dudes? I'm Ariel. If you don't know me or haven't seen me before, hello. Hope you're all doing well. Glad you're here and super excited for today's video. So recently, I guess earlier this week slash last week when this is being uploaded, I went to the Marc Jacobs sample sale in New York City and it was hosted by a company called 216 Sample Sale. They do a bunch of different sample sales in the city, but this one was for Marc Jacobs and I've been to another one of their sample sales in the past, which was also Marc Jacobs and I filmed it and basically did this video then, probably like four months ago, but I never ended up uploading it but I'm here to make amends. I went this time and I'm actually uploading the video this time, I promise. But I went to the Marc Jacobs sample sale because I saw this picture posted on the people that were hosting the sample sales Instagram and these are a pair of shoes that I've wanted for so long. So when I saw that they had them at the sample sale, I was sure that I needed to go. So I was in hot pursuit. I needed to find those shoes. So I woke up early, went to the sample sale, did all of that, and I filmed a vlog of me going, how it was, how the line was, what was there. So I'll show you the vlog, and then after that, I'll show you everything I ended up getting, talk about the experience, all of that. So let's get into the vlog, and then I will be back to show you what I got. Good morning. I'm up so early, like 7.15, to go to the Marc Jacobs sample sale in the city. It doesn't open until 10 about to be waiting online i already thought about what i wanted to wear from yesterday the only thing is i just hope it's not gonna be too cold because right now it's like that transitional weather so it's like still cold but like it's not like jacket cold necessarily but like you could wear a jacket but like i don't want to anyways i was thinking these pinstripe pants i thrifted the other day which i love this long sleeve because it's long sleeve i feel like i could get away with not wearing a jacket and then just wearing this zip up on top. I don't know, we'll try it on, we'll see. Okay, I'm all dressed and ready to go. I put on a hat and some gloves to keep me warm. Hopefully they do their job. Brought my book to read in line and on the train and I think that is it, bye. Here it is, and here's the line. Just got here. I thought I was getting here early because the last time I came, I got here like 30 minutes before the doors opened and it wasn't too bad. It was like a 30 minute wait. But I'm here like an hour before the doors open and the line like wraps around. So I'm gonna have to see when I get in, but hopefully they still have good stuff left. The line is moving a bit, and I think I'll be in the next like hour, unfortunately. Thank you. 
love what an experience it was successful I didn't get a ton of stuff but I did get the main thing I came for and I'm having the best day ever now and I'm so happy I will show you everything when I'm back home and yeah looking forward to it what a good day okay so all in all that sample sale was definitely an experience if I had to say one word that it was it was an experience it was kind of cold especially because it was in the morning I spent about three hours online waiting to get in and I got there an hour before the doors opened so yeah it was definitely a trip but overall I'd say it was a good experience probably because I was able to get the thing that I mainly went there for and wanted however if I wasn't able to get those I'd probably be a bit salty and it would debatably be worth the trip but I'm gonna show you what I got and I'll also show you some stuff I got the first time I went because I didn't get so much this time but the last time I went I did get quite a bit of stuff so I'm gonna show you some of those stuff as well but let's just get into it so first it would only be right to talk about the best find of the day which were the Marc Jacobs Ruth platform and these retail for $1,200 and you will not believe how much I paid for them. $80. $80 for these beauties. I'm still in shock. I, oh my gosh, like I'm over the moon. I've wanted these for so long and I was even close to buying them. They were on Nordstrom Rack for about $350, which I know is still super expensive, but compared to $1,200, I was like, okay, gotta do what I gotta do. But I just couldn't get myself to buy them. The bullet because these retailed for 1200 footwear at the sample sale was I believe 80% off so I was expecting them to be around $240 which is still a bit out of my price range but more doable than 1200 for sure so I was prepared to pay that much I knew it would hurt a bit but for these I figured it would be worth it but then when I got to the cash register she scanned them and said that they were $80 so I had to beg her to go to the back and get me another pair for my friend who told me about the sample sale because I knew that she would absolutely die for a pair. They only had a US Women's 9, which is where I looked out because I am a 9 and my friend is also a 9. So I'm so glad that the main thing I went for was there. I'm gonna have so much fun styling these this fall. And these are literally such like a dream piece. Like I would never fathom having a piece like this in my wardrobe that was on the runway and it's just such an iconic silhouette of Marc Jacobs. I'm so excited. Could not be happier. Am I about 6'5 or maybe even 6'6 six, six when I wear these? Yes, but in life you have to make sacrifices. Honestly, is being taller than everyone in the room really a sacrifice or is it a flex? you tell me. But yeah, super happy I was able to get those. They were very nice and let me try them on. Not like in a fitting room or anything, but she let me try on the display pair just so I could make sure that they would fit because usually I'd be a size 40, but those are 39, but they fit fine. And yeah, I'm so glad I was able to snag a pair for me and my friend. And getting those in and of themselves was worth the trip for sure. However, I did pick up some other stuff as well, so I'm going to show you that now. So the only clothing piece I picked up was this t-shirt. It's not showing up too well, but you'll see it in the try-on. It's just a yellow t-shirt with glittery print that says heaven on it. So right now, Marc Jacobs has their own heaven line, which is kind of like a different brand apart from Marc Jacobs. They're a bit separate. But before heaven as a whole brand was launched, they had a small collection that was more attached to Marc Jacobs. That was called heaven, and it was like their redux collection or something like that. But they they had like a very small release with just a couple pieces so this top is from that release before heaven itself was really established as a brand I just figured I'd pick it up I thought it was super cute the retail was 95 but I paid about $22 for it just a little t-shirt figured it would be nice to throw on I really like the color and I love the glittery print and I really just wanted to pick up at least something for clothing and this was kind of my favorite and most reasonably priced thing I 
found. When I went to the sample sale the first time a couple months ago, I actually got a ton of clothing because once you actually get in the store, everyone is just going crazy, picking up a ton of stuff. And then you see the big sign that says everything is 80% off retail price. So like in your mind, it's just like, oh, so everything is super cheap. But that's kind of where they get you because like even though it's 80% off of retail, it's not really cheap by any means because the original prices are usually around 400 to even like a thousand dollars for like the clothing pieces the dresses the jeans the shirts so you could pick something up thinking like oh it'll be 80 percent off but if it's like a 500 dollars sweater it's still about 80 or 90 dollars after tax and stuff so it's not really that cheap after all which is why this time around i was sure to be very choosy with what i picked up and to calculate the price before I got to the register because last time I was so flabbergasted when I got to the register and it was like $800. I know. I know. <laughs> That's partially why I didn't film the video that time because I was just so embarrassed after having spent that much without really wanting to or planning on it. So this time I was very selective with what I picked up and really did not want to go crazy. Especially when I was expecting to have to pay $240 for those shoes. I really was not trying to pick up a ton of other stuff. So the only other stuff I picked up were some socks, which I will also show you now. So I picked up about five pairs of socks just because you guys know I'm a huge sock person I love socks and these socks were really good quality they were quite thick and with the sample sale discount of 80% they all ended up being around seven to eight dollars a pair which is not bad and I don't know I feel like it's pretty reasonable some good quality socks you could never have enough especially because winter is coming up and I really need some more good thick socks that I could wear in my Doc Martens and just boots so I don't get any blisters so it was a good investment first I got this pair of socks which are actually men's but they're just like checkerboard they have like a huge checker pattern color block or whatever and I got these specifically to wear with these shoes because I think that they match super well and they're like a knee-high length so I think it'll be pretty cute and those socks were the cheapest they retailed for 24 but I think they were about like seven dollars and then the rest of the socks were eight dollars I got this pair which were like pointel lacy they just have like lace on the front they have some like embossing they're super cute I have a couple lacy socks like this but they're all ankle socks so I really wanted to get this taller pair I think they'd be cute with like the lace sticking out the top of boots or like shoes or whatever or even over tights with like a loafer or something super cute I also got these two socks which are the same these are orange these are green but they're just like a gym sock style and they say the Marc Jacobs on the front and these are just super good quality they're very thick they would look great with sneakers especially in the summer like sneakers and shorts but I just really like how thick they are and I know that they will cushion my feet when I wear my docks and hopefully help prevent blisters and then lastly I got this pair of socks which were also from the heaven collection they just have a little nirvana reference on there with the smiley which I love and they say heaven on them super cute so all those socks are about like seven to eight bucks each I think all together ended up being like $50, but honestly worth it. Socks are just a staple, like who doesn't need socks? And also because I didn't really get much clothing this time around, I'm gonna show you a couple of the clothing pieces I got last time. I think that this time the selection for clothing was not as good at all. In my opinion, I think the clothing selection was really lacking and it was kind of hard for me to find anything I was crazy about, which is also why I didn't get much clothes. But I will say that the shoe selection was a lot better than the last one so I guess it's just like either a hit or miss also at this one they didn't have any bags really but at the last one they had a whole floor of bags so it varies pretty greatly what they might have at each sale but I'm gonna show you some of the clothing I got at the last sample sale because I think that that one really had all the best clothing pieces they probably got rid of a lot of their clothing inventory which is why the pickings were a bit more slim this time around but I got this mag 
Magda Archer, Marc Jacobs, My Life is Crab Crew Neck at the last sample sale. I wore this two videos ago, if it looks familiar. But yeah, super cute. I had been wanting anything with the little My Life is Crab and the vintage lamb design from this collaboration. They had a bag and a t-shirt as well. But when I was looking to go to the first sample sale, I saw this posted on their story, which is like why I went to that one. So I got this for around $50. Additionally, from that first sample sale, I also got the Stray Rats Marc Jacobs collab zip up with all the text on the back as well. This is one of my faves, like for real. And the way I found out about the first sample sale is that I saw someone posting on Depop that they would be willing to pay someone to go and get this from the sample sale for them. So I was like, oh wait, that's in New York City. I would be able to go to that. I should go and try to get one for myself. So I did. And I'm super happy I did. I ended up paying around $45 for this, which is such a steal because it retails for like 200 something and it's sold out everywhere. They're like impossible to find on Depop or Grailed. So I really lucked out with this. Also, the first time I went, the line wasn't nearly as bad. I thought the line was bad before I went this time around, but the first time I went, the line was only about an hour long. I did go on the last day though, and this time I went on the first day, but it really wasn't too bad, especially if you go towards the end of the sample sale. And then the last clothing piece I'll show you guys is this sweater that I got the first time around as well. And it's just their grunge sweater, and it's brown and pink checkered and a bit distressed throughout. A bit oversized as well. I ended up sizing up to a medium. I originally was gonna get a small, but I sized up and I kind of wish I stuck with the small because this is like super oversized, almost like I could wear it as a dress. But I really like the colors and I think it'll be really nice and cozy for the winter. And this was about $80. They had a lot of knits that were similar to the sweater at the sample sale that I went to most recently. And they had this exact sweater in a black and lime green check, which I would have preferred, but I already had this one, so I just passed on that one. Because even though it's super cute, and I, I guess $80 is a great price for like a Marc Jacobs sweater, but the thing about sales is it'll get you to buy stuff that you just totally would not have gotten otherwise. So this time around, I really tried to hold myself to think like, would I buy this from a store like Urban Outfitters for $80? Of course, there's a huge difference between Marc Jacobs and Urban Outfitters, but at the end of the day, like if I wouldn't pay that much for that sweater anywhere else, I feel like I shouldn't just buy it because it's a sample sale and it's cheap and it's Marc Jacobs, so that should make it worth it, you know? And I feel like it really helped me this time around to restrain myself from just picking up everything. Because I did see a lot of cute things, but not all of it was stuff I needed. So yeah, it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're going to a sample sale yourself, or even if you're just shopping in the sale section, because when I still shopped in stores compared to just only shopping secondhand pretty much now, the thing that would always get me was looking in the sale section and picking up a bunch of stuff that I did not need, and it definitely applies to sample sales as well. But yeah, that is what I picked up at the Marc Jacobs sample sale in New York City. Thank you so much for coming along with me. It was an experience, it was a journey. We lived, we laughed, we shopped, and it was fun. People were asking me how do you find out about the sample sales, and my friend of course told me about this one, and I found out about the first one on Depop, but you could follow the page that hosted the sample sale, I think it's called like 216 sample sale, and they post about all their sample sales in whatever city it is, so if you were wondering like how do you find out about them, that is a good way to find out. Also, while you're at it, follow me on Instagram, Barf Rain, follow your girl, support, and yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one, but until then, stay safe, stay well, you know the deal, peace and love, and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.